Well, Maurizio, thank you very much for having us here. Thank you so much. Muy encantado. Uh, Mucho yeah, placer. Uh, this uh, beautiful new showroom showing something really, really special here yes. with Bugatti, right? Yeah, we're very proud. This is uh, the first Bugatti showroom we have in America together with uh, the first New York. Okay. First to have, together with the New York one, we are very proud. It's a very special environment, very exclusive, very Bugatti. We have uh, really some elements of Bugatti history, like the, the missing elephant, which is one of the symbols of Bugatti. And we have, uh, most importantly, the new Bugatti Chiron, uh, freshly brought from Geneva, from yeah. Geneva Motor Show, where we introduced the car in March 2016. So it's a world, the worldwide unbeating, and this is the first time this car comes to Miami. Okay. So um, let's go back a little bit in history yes. because the, the previous uh, yes. generation, <clears throat> this one, the, the Bayron, the Bayron, was hugely successful, right? And you yes. have several uh, variations. Uh, yes, the Bayron uh, was the pre predecessor of the Chiron. Uh, we name our cars from our uh, very special and famous race drivers. Veron was uh, <clears throat> a driver from uh, Bugatti from the beginning of the 19th century, who won Le Mans. And Louis Chiron is uh, a driver who was uh, driving for Bugatti always in uh, the middle of 1920, 1930, was born in Monte Carlo, and he won uh, many Grand Prix for uh, Bugatti. So Bugatti has been, uh, was at that time the most successful racing uh, car with 2,000 victories on only one model, T35. And we like to mention or to celebrate a little bit of history and DNA with the name of this great product, the Chiron. Okay. So I'm going um, to this car now. Yes. The Veyron had, I believe, 1,000 horsepower. The Veyron, the the Veyron we, had, we started with 1,000 horsepower in 2006 when we brought on the market. We astonished the world with 1,000 horsepower. At that time, it was uh, the most powerful car in the world. Uh, then we went to a version of 1,200, which was uh, the Super Sport. A coupe, and then we celebrated the end of the series, the 450 cars, with a Vitesse, which is a convertible with 1,200 horsepower. Now, uh, as uh, uh, we like to say uh, at Bugatti, we did the best, even better, because we bring on the market a car with 1,500 horsepower. There is nothing, 1,500, nothing like that in the market. It's the most powerful car production car in the world, the fastest car. We are uh, at the moment limiting the speed of this car 261 miles an hour or 420 kilometers an hour. But we are aiming to have the speed <coughs> world record very soon. We are testing the car right okay. as we speak. So we're talking about speeds of a Formula One car for a production car that people can drive on the street. Well, I mean, they can drive on the street and we organize, we are very proud, we organize special events for our yeah, customers. Course, no, I'm saying like we it's have a production car. Yeah, yeah, it's a production car. It's a production car you can drive every day. We like to say that you can drive in the theater uh, at night, but you transform it in a beast. It's the beauty and the beast, yeah. what we say. <laughs> um, I had the opportunity to drive the Veyron uh, maybe 10 years ago. Yeah. Right? And it was 1,000. And I came out of a car that had 500. So I thought, okay, I'm going to be more or less comfortable. Yeah. And I was, it's intimidating just to hear the number. Yeah, it's, but, it's, it's um, incredible. To my surprise, I mean, the sound is uh, it's amazing and all that, but it's not that difficult to drive. I mean, no. it's like the engineering to me was like so fantastic. The steering, the suspension, it makes it... But uh, you, you touch a very important point. Uh, we sell a special concept. I mean, a Bugatti is completely different from a Ferrari, a McLaren. Those guys, they make incredible cars, but they, are, they, they, they take a car that initially conceived for the racing track and they give uh, in the hands of the customers. A fantastic car, but after you drive a car like that, you get tired. Yeah. With this, this is a car which is conceived to be driven on the road. So in uh, maximum security, you can speed it to 420 kilometers an hour, 261, but you feel fresh, you feel yeah. relaxed, and always in the maximum security. Because the electronic of the car is so advanced yeah, that <coughs> you can drive in four different modes. You can drive in uh, <coughs> normal modes, you can drive in performance, we call Autobahn, from the German name of the highway, where you can drive as fast as you want, yeah. and we like that. Uh, or you can drive in performance and, uh, mode, and every of these uh, <coughs> modes control a different setup between uh, suspensions, the way you want to yeah. feel, uh, traction control, but always in security. You know, we always want the, our drivers to drive the maximum security. So you can drive as fast as you want, but feel safe, feel relaxed, and when you get out of the car after two hours, you feel like you want to start again <laughs> right away. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the design, I mean, also has changed. I mean. It keeps the design from your older cars, like the Atlantic yeah. back there, but uh, it, it, I mean, you, you can see it on the street and you know it's a Bugatti. 
Yeah, I, I, I would say uh, that um, it's, a, it's an evolution and not a revolution on the Veyron because we want to keep our brand identity. And as you see, <coughs> the car has very, some very special elements from our heritage. Uh, I would like to mention one on the other is this line you can see in Polish aluminium, we call it the signature line of Ettore Bugatti because it's the one, the one he signed yeah. himself like that. We reproduce this one outside and inside. You can see also in the interior if yeah, you have the, the chance doors, to go. Yeah. And then you have another element on the top of the car, which is aerodynamic, but also aesthetical. It's this spine, which uh, reminds to the, the old cars like the Atlantic, one of the most successful cars of Bugatti, oh, and maybe That's one good. of the most expensive cars in the world. Three, three units, one Ralph Lauren, the yeah, second yeah. one is a Peterson Museum in, uh, in, uh, in California, yeah. and the third one got unfortunately destroyed. But uh, you know, this is uh, what we'll say about our design, and every little detail is performance driven. Yeah. There is nothing that is just left to, you know. Uh, Form and function as they correct. call it. Correct. Uh, you can see the main difference from uh, the Chiron to the Biron. You have <coughs> no air intake anymore because everything is integrated. You can okay. see here the air goes through and there is a lot of air needed of course. To, to cool up 1500 horsepower. So, so you know what I mean, for the brakes uh, and for the engine. 16 cylinders? It's 16, the architecture of the engine, we have here a Veyron engine. The architecture is the same, but, but the engine has been completely redesigned because to, to put 500 horsepower more, you need to have a completely new air intakes. <coughs> uh, the, the, the head of the engine is completely new and all the most expensive and uh, lightest material have been used, titanium, magnesium, carbon fiber. So everything has been completely redesigned. So uh, obviously this is a very exclusive car, very limited production, and it has a hefty price. Uh, between two and, a, two and a half million more or less? The starting point, we are defining now the price in the US will be around 2.8. Uh, starting yeah. point, but you have the 500 cars, the limited edition. Each customer will design his own edition. We can say each of these cars so is one off. Car. You yeah. can go there and the customer de becomes uh, almost a designer of his own car. We can detail the particular, the color, the carbon fiber, the interior, the leather, the stitching, uh, even the color of the seat belt you can pick up and you can personalize. Yeah. The personalized plate inside, whatever you want. Most expensive material. Yeah, the, exactly. the structure of the car is a uh, Carbon fiber monocoque is the most exclusive and expensive structure in the world, basically to give the maximum rigidity with the lightest weight. So you have a carbon fiber and then the front and, the, uh, and it's aluminum, I'm talking about the chassis, yeah. in order to absorb the crash test. So the car uh, follows all the safest, you know, all the safety standards and so on, emission, have to, yeah. we have to. We have 19 prototypes going on the road, already 500,000 kilometers have driven, and when you get a car, the customer gets something which is perfect. Yeah. Which is, uh, the car has four years warranty, in limited mileage. Oh, really? Yeah, you can drive as many, as you, as many oh. kilometers you want, or many miles, and the four years maintenance. Every year, you bring back to a Bugatti dealer, and it will fix the car and give you the hand, you know what I mean, and, and, and give it perfect. And you can drive as, as long as you want. So this car, uh, this car, as you mentioned at the beginning, was uh, showed for the first time at the Geneva Auto Show just a few months ago. Yes. But uh, I understand it's already sold out. Uh, well, uh, we are doing very well. We at the moment sold one third, more or less, of the production, which is 500. It's going at incredible page. Um, we have been very successful. We brought the car in Miami for the first time. We're taking lot of orders, and then the cars goes to the West Coast, uh, San Francisco, Silicon Valley, and Los Angeles. We are doing extremely well. The well, first American cars come in the market middle of next year. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. And, uh, Muy encantado. Muchísimas gracias. And uh, congratulations on the car. Thank you so much. And I, I mean, I had the chance to drive the other one, so maybe I'll... I'll we, I invite you for this one. Eh? Okay, thank you. I'll take your word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.